that what's what nothing i'm just digesting what i saw why did you help me perhaps because i care and besides it's not about you well not only you fine moving on the test subject is not leaving limbo inject neurotransmitters uh, hey major i'm fine my head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, soldier. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help, if everything ends well. <sighs> no thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Resist, my darling. Resist. Ah, fuck. I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop shaped one right there straight above us do you see it there's nothing there what do you mean i'm looking right at it oh crap now it's gone it's a hallucinatory reaction a side effect of the surgery you underwent the reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant what are you even talking about what implant <gasps> did sechenov not tell you so you don't know what's happening to you charles do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossod polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles? What are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles. What data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments 
conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am- Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just... a device. I don't know, I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Dead. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. 